Aloha. When paradise calls, Hawaii is the place to go. But with six major islands to visit, how do you get the best from each? Here are some tips to guide you. If you're looking for breathtaking scenery, warm, clear waters, and an array of outdoor activities, you can find it on any of the Hawaiian islands, but each has its own unique features. Let's start with Oahu. Oahu is home to the capital and the largest city in Hawaii, Honolulu. It also boasts the most famous beach in the world, Waikiki. Surf fans are sure to love the Waikiki Beach, the birthplace of Duke Kahanamoko, the father of surfing. Oahu is also home to the only royal palace in America, Iolani Palace, and it's the most visited of the Hawaiian Islands. Maybe that's why they call it the Gathering Place. After Oahu, Maui comes next in the Hawaii Popularity Contest. Maui has been voted the best island in the world more than a dozen times. When you take a look at this scenery, it's easy to see why. This is the place to go if you're looking for a tropical and romantic paradise. Next stop is the Big Island of Hawaii. This island is twice as large as all the other islands combined and is famous for its active volcano. But that's not all. The Big Island also has tropical rainforests, black lava deserts, lush expansive meadows, and miles of beaches with white, black, and even green sand. If morning means coffee, then you have to take a trip to the Kona Coast and visit a coffee plantation in action. If sports are more your thing, you can do it all on the Big Island, even deep sea fishing. The Big Island is also host to the Ironman Triathlon World Championships every year. That's where 1,500 athletes run, swim, and bike the coast. The perfect ending to your Big Island visit is the luau at Kona Village for some authentic Hawaiian flavor. With little nightlife and no buildings taller than a coconut tree, the last three islands of Kauai, Molokai, and Lanai are much quieter and more secluded than the other islands. Kauai is called the Garden Isle and is famous for the spectacular Nepali coastline. One of the best ways to take it all in is with a helicopter tour, and you'll quickly understand why this island has played host to more than 50 feature films. But once your feet are back on the ground, don't forget to test the water. The last two islands, Molokai and Lanai, are the most untouched islands, but there is still plenty to do. Take in a round of golf on Lanai, or experience a once-in-a-lifetime mule trek through Molokai. When planning your Hawaiian adventure, give yourself plenty of time on each island. There's too much to do to fit it all in one trip, which is why so many visitors return to Hawaii year after year. I'm Stephanie Oswald. Mahalo! Thanks for watching.